Congratulations on uh, moving on. And thank you, um, if I may say one more time, uh, thank you for making it happen in the first place. I know it's been a, a rocky road. And um, the first, uh, those those print editions were really the the heyday. Is it called the salad days? You know, yeah, those, I, were, those were the golden years, weren't they, of Portugal? I, you, you know, ah, here. You know, there's let's, something. Let's see if Bruce has got trousers on now. Okay. Get out of here. Okay, all right. Okay, I mean, you know, <laughs> putting up something like that. Hold on, I'm going to give you full screen for this. You know, something nice. like that. Yes, look at that. It's a thing of beauty. Or something like that. Yep, superb. Okay. Or something like that. Treasured memories, right there. Fantastic. Or 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 something like that. You know. I remember all these covers. This is the power. This is the power of, of printing. I remember yes, them. You remember the covers, but you don't read the contents, Carl. I know that we've talked about that. You're not a reader. I'm not a reader, but I do remember the covers. I'm a very visual person, if not a Good. um a very texty person so thank you bruce for that contribution to portuguese culture does that mean then that you're gonna just sort of take it a bit easier um in in the coming months and years or have you got something else up your sleeve <laughs> i always have something else you up do don't you you do yeah but you know there comes a point that when you're faced with our own mortality you know and they're and, and, and you look and you say, OK, um, I'm doing this now. You know, I believe that, uh, well, uh, those who believe in, in, in the Bible, the scripture says to every time there's a season. Yes, or right. the birds put it, turn, turn, turn. You know, um, I, I, I do believe that, um, you know, there are some people who plant. There are others who cultivate. There are others who harvest. Um I believed I served my purpose, okay, with Portugal Living Magazine, and I think it, it, I, I thought it was time to move on, mainly mm -hmm. because of that one word, time. At this yeah. point in my life, there are things that I want to do or I haven't done. I mean, I have been living in Portugal for six years, still waiting to get an appointment with Seth so that I can get my <laughs> permanent residency, yeah. which was due a year ago, Good okay, luck. you know? Yeah. Yeah, good luck. I, tomorrow I see my lawyer who says, I can help, you know, but it's a Portuguese lawyer. So I want to see what does that mean, Liliana? You can help, you know. Yes. Um, but, uh, you know, apart from picking up people and taking them to the airport in Lisbon or passing through Porto on route to somewhere, I've never spent any time, any quality time in Lisbon. I'd like to do that. Um, I've not gone and enjoyed the beauties, of, you know, uh, 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 of Portugal, places that we've written about, you know, and, and, and my only experience with them was the articles and the photos and the images of, of it in, in the magazine. So, yes, I would like to do that. Um, we've scheduled uh, for my milestone birthday, March 2024. I'll be 75. And I decided, hey, you know. <laughs> it might <laughs> drain the pocketbook, but we're going to do a Doro cruise. And oh, good for you! <laughs> we took us. Yeah. We 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 get scheduled a um, one that's a little bit different because I am by by a Iberian. Okay. Iberian, okay. yes, well said. Um, and 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 I went to college at the University of Madrid, during which time I spent. A lot of time, like in Salamanca, and and there, the the reason I'm mentioning that is because many cruises that are eight days or longer will go, um, you know, up the Douro into Spain, stop in Salamanca, and come back. We instead chose a cruise that was about ten days, but starts off with three in Lisbon. Okay, so there will be that thing that I've not seen. And yes, it's structured, but there's also unstructured time to get and see the city. It'll give me an opportunity to visit with many people that I've known online, but I've never met. Um, we then go up to Porto. Uh, no, actually, we, 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 we go to Coimbra and spend a day in Coimbra, where I do have friends and we've been there before. But we sail then through the Porto, uh, th uh, through through uh, the Douro, 
and stop at a number of little villages, you know, where, and where there's a tour of wine making and wine tasting and yeah. wine growing and, and all of that. Go up to Porto, spend three days in Porto, and that's where it ends. And so, you know, we take the train back to Lisbon or whatever. So I, I'm very much looking forward to that. Well, good for you, Bruce, because I, I think given what you've been doing here in Portugal, you've often been you're a lens through which other people see Portugal and probably a bit like me when you're out and about, you're thinking, ah, oh, I must write about this or I yeah. must make some content about this. And you'll just be able to relax and enjoy it, won't you? To a degree. I'm already into my next project. I'm I, I just <laughs> knew it. Well, you know what the idle hands, you know what they say about yes, idle hands? I know what they say about those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, I, I, what I realized with one of the things I realized with Portugal Living Magazine was that I spent a lot of time editing, okay? Mm. That um, uh, some writers tend to be sloppy. They just, they, they, they just didn't. You know, it's one thing to post on Facebook and 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 to just write and use whatever shorthand that there. But when you're writing something, you know that you want to be proud of and that that you're looking, you know, to put in your portfolio and so forth. It, it requires some work. So I did a lot of editing and I also did a lot of writing um, for for the for the you know for Portugal Living Magazine. And I had thought I had finished my book writing, <laughs> my book writing career. career. Um, I've done eight books. The last two dealt with, um, one was Expat, which explored the reasons we left the United States and what our first couple of years were like living in Portugal. You know, the, the things that, oh my God, they do it this way, or don't tell me that, or you know, it, 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 it's, why can't I get an appointment there? Why aren't they returning my phone calls? Why aren't they returning my emails? Where do I go for the, you know? Mm -hmm. And then my most recent book was um, Spanish Towns, Portuguese Villages, which talk about by, by Iberian, um, explored the latter three years of our lives here in, in you know, once we had kind of gotten settled, what was life like after we got settled? You know, there are some people that we knew that discovered or decided that Portugal wasn't for them, and they left. They went elsewhere. Other people found that the longer they lived here, the more they came to respect and love the country, you know, its traditions and, and so forth. So, um, I'm now doing something that uh, I'm now, I, I've just put, I can't say pen to paper. We don't do that anymore. Fingers to the keyboard. Um, and I, I've started a, uh, a new book that is totally different than anything else I've ever written. Oh, interesting. Go on. Yeah. Go on. What, 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 what would you want me to go on? What would, I want to what... know. I mean, are you not going to give us, you're not pitching it to us. You're not going to oh. give the game away. I'll, I'll give you a little idea of what it's about. You tease. Well, the title of the book is Vulnerable. Oh, okay. And it has a subtitle, Why Do We Fear So Much? Or oh, wow. why do we... And, it, and, and this is now more of my pastor hat that I'm wearing. Well, this is what I wanted to ask you about and bring into the conversation. Of course, some people know that and you convene a spiritual community, don't you? And yeah. of course, you are a pastor. And I wondered if you would be returning to this, you know, if, uh, metaphorically, if you would be returning to the pulpit. Sounds like you might be in, a, in, a, in, in through your writing. Uh, well, we do have a group online on Facebook. It's called um, uh, uh, People of Faith spiritual online um, congregation. Mm -hmm. um, and it's for people, it doesn't matter what your religious background is, the focus is not on religion, it's more on spirituality. And mm -hmm. I think increasingly people are questioning the validity of the religious institutions, the churches that, you know, hey, wait a second, you know, it, it, they're questioning it, but they're still looking for that bond, that spiritual bond. 
that is something inside each of us. When many of us find it in different ways. So we do have the congregation online that I sort of pastor. Um, and I've got a, a, probably three or four other people that are wonderful co-pastors with me that you know it, it, it's a very interesting page um and this book that i'm working on yeah it does bring in um a lot of life experience but it also probably has you know uh kind of my pastoral hat it 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 it, it, it it's it 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 you know, you look around the world and there's so much that we fear. I mean, um, I mean, you can take current events. You've got the Israelis right now who are surrounded by nations that are sworn to annihilate them. I mean, that's not their only purpose, but they have gone on record saying we are here to destroy and do away with it. On the same hand, you've got the Palestinian people who, you know, don't have a homeland, that don't have, you know, they have not don't have home rule or whatever you want to call it. You know, so there's two sides of, 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 of that puzzle. You know, the, the, the same thing you could take, um, you look at Vladimir Putin. Now, from the rest of the world's point of view, including mine, um, He's he's empire building, okay, and trying to resurrect the you know the Soviet Union, but even more gloriously than it was. But then, if you think about you know um, the man, I I, I I think that there's also that vulnerability that he feels for Russia because it's increasingly surrounded by NATO countries, especially with Finland and so forth. So what I'm saying is, I believe that vulnerability. Um, is a common denominator in mm -hmm. all of our lives. Okay, no matter where we live, no matter what our age is, you know, from from the foreigner who's moving seeking asylum, but fears instead rejection and deportation, to the people, the farmers here in in in, in you know, uh, looking at the parched ground, who which isn't yielding any crops. You know, to those of us, uh, you know, who've never experienced heat or flooding like this. I mean, there's something it, 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 I think vulnerability, as I said, is a common denominator of the human experience. Well, I look forward to talking to you more about this, Bruce. It's a great theme. It really is. I mean, some people describe it as a superpower, don't they? You, you, you'll you, see sort of personal development speakers describing vulnerability as the access to to humanity and of course as you've described it in some ways there there's a you know they're like there's a there's two sides you know things are polar in this existence aren't they yeah. night and day good and bad right and wrong this is how we how the world is constructed exactly. the other side of vulnerability perhaps is as a is a driver such that when people do feel vulnerable they act in ways that aren't necessarily pro-human or uh supportive of, of life and our divine uh, potential quite the opposite in fact uh, you know yeah. they, they can bring out the devilish um in people can't it when they feel vulnerable so this is a fantastic um exploration um bruce uh, and um you, this is this is an idea and this is what you'll be getting your head around and writing about yes i hope so One, i'm looking forward to it yeah on, on the note of um israel uh, palestine gaza uh, tonight uh, we're on our portugal club uh, meeting. We're hoping to speak to uh, Boaz, who has returned. Interestingly, I don't know if you know uh, Boaz Kapsuta. You might have seen him on Facebook. Um, mm -hmm. He's he, he's a, a, the host and facilitator of a number of interesting workshops here. He's a personal development guy, mm -hmm. and he is Israeli, and he's returned to Israel. And it, we might speak to him directly tonight. And and how he puts it, you know, he's a, he has a very under, good understanding of. Oh, good morning, Toto. And we, he has a very good understanding of all the forces at work. Um, I think politically and psychologically, um, he's quite quite the guy, um, and he's there. You know, we're going to be because it, it, it's very difficult. I think at the moment it, with with how our vulnerability and our fears are manipulated through third parties. We don't really know what's going on anywhere, do we? Apart from what we're told, and uh, I'm looking forward to, tonight to hearing Boaz's um, 
sensitivity to as i as i understand him and as i, as I appreciate him as a, as a fellow human being and his his personal view on what's going on there and he, and how he describes it is very poignant you know he's moved he moved here to one of the most peaceful countries in the world in portugal and he's he's felt that he's felt moved to return to his native israel um to be there and to see how he can be part of the resolution of the situation so what a brave man i think and uh, I hope he'll be able to talk to us tonight uh, on our Portugal. Fantastic! Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Um, it's these. Are, these are incredible times, and I think that that book and and the discussion about vulnerability will be very, uh, very useful, very valuable. So thank you, Bruce, for turning your hand to that and um, moving on from Portugal Living Magazine and into that uh, more. What would we? What would we call it? You know, the the, the the it's a big subject, isn't it? And 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 it's and it's a necessary exploration, perhaps at these times. It, 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 it's it's not a book, unlike um, a show like you have or um, a online magazine. A book isn't necessarily interactive. In other words, the author is removed. I, uh, there's a calm and, and, and a time that I can devote myself to exploring my thoughts, putting them down, worrying about them, working them over, and coming up with what you know um, I'm happy with before it's released. Mm. With more interactive media, like a daily magazine or a daily Good Morning Portugal show, um, it, you might want to be on topic, but somebody's going to make a, a a comment, and wow, that's interesting. So you go to answer that comment, which leads to a different comment, or you find yourself being pulled into, um, you know, with Portugal Living Magazine. One of the frustrations that I had was. Despite having in the featured box up, you know, on the top of the page saying that the articles posted here are not written by Portugal Living Magazine or its publisher. And in each article, we would have the source. It okay. would say, but people would take issue and, 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 and get upset with me. Okay, yep, I've, seen it. I've seen it. That's a bit of it you won't be glad to see the back of, I suspect. No, I will not. I truly will not. Um, nor will I, uh, I, I, I will not miss seeing the ugliness that can happen, you know, with, 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 with being online and, and, and the anonymity that comes from it, the, the, you know, it's like a, it's like the Wizard of Oz. You know, very powerful behind behind that curtain. But you know, people will say things to each other or take a word out of context, and you know, all of a sudden the whole thing moves into a different direction, and um, and people get ugly with each other. Um, yeah. I had when when we switched from the PDF format of the magazine to the Facebook because it was interactive and because we could do it daily. There was yeah. so much information, news, articles, images that we could share, personal stories that people wanted to share and so forth. There was no way that we could cram 25 daily articles okay, into a magazine that came out four times a year. It couldn't be done, right. nor could people respond immediately to what yeah. we so, but a lot of people said, well, you know, good luck. I hope you do well, but I'm not uh, a Facebook fan and I won't be, you know, following the magazine if it's on Facebook. Uh, yes. Yeah. 